Tomorrow, the South Carolina House of Representatives Municipal and Public Affairs Subcommittee will be discussing a bill that would stop local governments from imposing rules that limit short-term rentals. Emily Zuhowski is live for us from James Island after talking to people on both sides of this issue. And Emily, this issue is very polarizing. Yeah, Roth, the issue of short-term rentals has been very controversial for years, especially in our beach communities. But now some lawmakers are proposing that maybe the issue can be taken into the state's hands. Now, if this law is passed, South Carolina House Bill 3253 would prohibit local governments from enacting or enforcing ordinances, resolutions, or regulations that prohibit short-term rentals. If local governments do put bans in place, they would face penalties under the bill. They would have to be taxed at 4% instead of the 6% investment property rate and would not be able to receive any distributions from the local government fund. We've seen fights from both sides of the issue play out in our area and ordinances and other regulations have been put in place, like in Folly Beach, for example, where the number of short-term rental licenses is now capped at 800 and the city is not accepting any more applications at this time because the cap has been exceeded. Some people have talked to feel that short-term rentals bring in loud parties and take away from the quality of life, while others feel short-term rentals are a big part of our tourism economy as a travel destination. I really hope the bill passes to be a check against, frankly, tyrannical, small minority of people. The low country is very different than the upstate, um, and they have different probably views on it, and they should be able to make their own you know, laws and ordinances in regards to short-term rentals. I also spoke with Representative Marvin Pendarvis, who's on that subcommittee. He tells me he's been hearing from people constantly, pretty much every single day, who are, who are on all sides of that issue. Reporting live on James Island, Emily Zuhowski, Live 5 News.